hello. Now I've actually done an unboxing of this and I shall put a link um, to that below and at the end of this video. But this is the new Series 10 uh, Apple Watch. So as you can see, it, it looks very similar to um, previous versions. Uh, but the reason I got this was because I knew it was a different, um, it was a new case and a, in effect a new release of the, um, of the standard um, uh, Apple Watch. Uh, saying that, they weren't offering the stainless steel anymore. This is the titanium. So I suppose this replaces the, the titanium. And very quickly, I wanted to show you uh, that the um, the boxes have uh, uh, got a little bit uh, smaller. And if I pull up a, an older uh, 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 strap box, you can see that they've shrunk it. And in my other video that you will see, um, it's because of that they actually present the uh, the strap inside the box uh, like that, where in the old box, uh, they've um, it's actually packaged uh, more like that. So it takes up more room, uh, making it longer. Uh, so that's why they've been able to, to shrink the box. And I think this part, Part must have must have also shrunk, but um, the, the packaging is once again very Apple, and it, it is very nice. And the uh, uh, the the actual uh, watch head comes in this little package here, and I suppose I can take it off to show you. Why don't I do that? Um, yeah, I suppose people are going to be familiar with with how the strap fits now. Um, it, it's actually a neither quite. It's it's a nice. It's a very nice system, and if you are a, uh, an Apple Watch person anyway, um, you might have uh, the, the existing straps. So you are going to be very pleased with uh, the new titanium because uh, all the straps that you have uh, are going to fit the, um, uh, the 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 new titanium case. And um, let me just put that in there. And, uh, you know, once again, uh, someone like me really does feel the, uh, the build quality. Everything is, you know, fits very tightly, uh, indicating that the machining tolerances are, are very, very tight. But um, the reason I've, I, this is a strap that I had previously in the blue color and it does go very nicely with the the, the titanium case uh, but of course i do have the uh, uh the the stone gray one that i got with it that i chose to have with it and um i do like the stone gray I maybe because it's new um uh, but i suppose that, you know if i received it with this um this blue i think this was the storm blue or ocean blue something like that uh, but let me take the, the strap off once again because uh, i can show you the um the case uh in more detail actually i do apologize let me take it off camera for a moment and see if i can wipe all my finger marks off there we go uh yeah, because this is polished titanium, I suppose it is going to be, it's going to show the oils from your skin probably quite easily. Um, so, but I think I've, I've wiped most of them off. But if you, if you look at your older Apple Watch, perhaps you've got the older uh, stainless steel, um, you might be able to see that you know, the case, this part here, it is slightly smaller. And I think you you do notice it uh, because it's resulted in this part uh, being a little bit lower to the bottom of the watch, which means that it sort of fits a little better on your wrist. It is quite interesting. It does fit very nicely. And I, actually, I'll just put the, uh, the other strap on there because... Uh, it does fit rather well. The the the, uh, the manufacturing tolerances that Apple, uh, you know, have on these Apple on on building these Apple watches. I mean, these days, like all their products, the machining tolerances are so tight. Uh, you can sort of tell in the hand that they. Uh, I don't know the actual um, uh, tolerances that they use, but that they are so tight. And it does end up. It it results in a feeling of quality because everything fits so well. Anyway, there you go. That's the back of the uh, the titanium. I keep wanting to say stainless steel, but in actual fact, um, it's titanium. 
Um, I'm actually a stainless steel fan. If if there was a Series 10 in stainless steel, that is probably the watch I would have gone for. But I understand that they've that, that they don't offer the stainless steel this year, uh, and that model is uh, replaced by the titanium. And titanium does offer uh, uh, physical technical advantages over stainless steel. Um, it's a little bit harder. And it probably lends itself uh, as a better watch case material in actual fact. And also it's lighter. Although, because these watches do seem to be quite light anyway, uh, the light isn't an issue for me, but I know that some people are really going to appreciate um, uh, a, a premium materials but light uh, uh, watch case. So this is going to be right, this is going to you know, make fans of the Apple Watch probably very happy anyway. But there you go, I, I wanted to show you um, very briefly um, the the Apple Watch Series 10. I suppose it's not really a review because I'm not going into the uh, uh, the technical functions. But you can see there I've chosen a watch face and I don't know its name, but I really like it. And uh, it sort of matches the watch color. The reason that the passcode is on is because I've, I've already set it up and um, it's it's wanting to detect my uh, my wrist. Uh, but if I I can probably toggle the screen like that so you can see it. But anyway, um, there are other videos and perhaps I will do a um, how you operate the watch. But I, on, on this, in this video, I really wanted to show you the watch on camera like this. And, uh, and hopefully I, I've got that. But I have to say, it is very nice. The build quality, the way it feels in the hand. Uh, this colour variant uh, being natural titanium and uh, a stone grey strap. It is rather nice. I've just realised what I haven't done for you is actually put it on the wrist. I do apologise. Let me put it on the wrist right now. And uh, I'll quickly, uh, uh, there we go, I put in my uh, passcode. Uh, but I've got it the, on automatic so that when I um, uh, open my iPhone, um, the, the watch will open up like this. So it won't show that passcode anymore. But that's it on the wrist. Why didn't I do this at the beginning? Yeah, that's the bit you're probably wanting to see. And uh, I do really like it. And also, um, on this Series 10, the reason that I have it is because there are some functions in this watch that I really do want to use. Uh, so I am really using this as a utility. And uh, my first impressions are that it's really cool. I really do like it. Anyway, my unboxing, I'll leave a link now. And uh, I do hope everyone is well and hopefully some more Apple stuff um, coming soon.